What's up guys? Super excited. I'm finally uh, taking the plunge and going to be upgrading. From the stock FlySky FSI6. This has treated me well but uh, has a lot of features that are lacking from the better radios like telemetry, uh, iBus. You can do S bus on the I mean uh S yeah you can do iBus on this. Um, but it's better than PPM but it's not as good as S bus which is what the Tyrannus Q uh, QX7 does. So telemetry uh, allows two way communication between your quad and your radio so it actually allows you to broadcast voltage to your radio and allows your radio to tell you, you know, when you're uh, running out of voltage and you need to land, as opposed to using this and having to have a speaker or one of these uh, one of these tacked onto your battery to uh, to alert you uh, with audio beeping. So the bad thing about this is if your quad's far away and it's beeping, you can't tell. Um, so. I'm just done with with all that stuff, so time to upgrade. A um, couple friends of mine bought the Tyrannus uh, X9D, and um, I had just spent all this money on this quad, so I've cheaped out on the radio uh, at the time, which I've only been flying for like two months now, so uh, <laughs> if that tells you anything, it might have been a better thing to, to go ahead and get uh, this in the first place, but Quite honestly, I don't even think this was released at the time, and I wasn't going to spend the 225 to get the X9D or whatever the the uh, the most popular Tyrannus that was out at the time. So, picked this up for about 130 bucks, um, and then after buying this, I learned that you need a new radio, so you can no longer—I mean, a receiver—you can no longer use the receiver that came with the FSI-6 as it is a PPM receiver and uh, this is going to be S-Bus. So you have two choices when picking up uh, the receiver for this. Uh, you have the XRS um, which is kind of a little cheaper looking uh, and the real reason I opted to get the XR4SB which is this version, it's only like three dollars more is it has replaceable antennas so from what I understand anyways so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up see what it comes with again this is the XR4SB version uh, you have the packaging a little piece of paper tells you stuff about the pins specs and uh, cable and then the unit itself and some jumpers I'm trying to see what they're talking about with replaceable antennas I can't really see in there but yeah they're not soldered that's some type of like end and uh, a couple of my friends that already purchased their Tyrannuses uh, were chopping these wires up in their um, on their on their quads, and so uh, one of them told me he liked this one because it had the replaceable antennas, and he didn't want to have to solder antennas on and off all the time. He actually bought like six extra pairs of antennas because uh, he did it a couple times. I'm gonna try to make my stuff a little more robust so I don't have this problem. All right, let's get this bad boy open. All right, we got the thank you. Looks like a bunch of stickers. That's cool. Always like stickers. Screw it. 
You know, the book tells you about things. One of those weird giant page books. All right, then a styrofoam, nice styrofoam case. I won't be keeping that, but oh, that's cool. Huh. I was wondering, I didn't have a lanyard yet, so uh, my buddies both have lanyards. This is kind of stupid. Having, I guess it's okay to make it longer and shorter, but to me that's a point of failure. And the actual radio. I got the white one because I think it looks like a stormtrooper. And my friends and I joked about making a set of goggles out of a stormtrooper mask. That'd be funny. I don't think we'll do it, but that'd be really funny. Ah, the sticks feel so much better than these. Um, I let a friend use this today uh, to fly my quad. And he's been using the Tyrannus ever since he started flying. And uh, so when he got a hold of this, he said, basically, the sticks felt so loose. So um, upgrading to this, yeah, I can see what he's talking about. There's definitely a lot more tension. One thing that's interesting about this radio is this center stick comes spring-loaded. So um, generally, if you can see, on the i6, this is not spring-loaded. The left and right is, but not up and down. Oh, and there's a way to adjust that. I don't know how to do it yet, but I will be figuring that out quickly. They're supposed to be coming out with the Hall um, replacement gimbals for this X7. I don't know if they've come out yet. I know they just came out for the the nine, but uh, yeah, it's a really nice looking radio. I'm really happy. So far, it feels really good. It's got these um, grip areas on the back here that kind of feel really good in my hands, whereas this is kind of just flat. You know. This is more chunky in the back to hold on to something. Um, I'm not a pincher at this point. I may, you know, start doing that eventually, but right now I'm a thumb, thumb flyer. So, yeah, it's nice. Now, anything about it yet at all? And I've never used a Tyrannus uh, 9, XD9, or whatever it is. So it's interesting. These these switches are almost like little posts, like um, completely cylinder. It's weird, I guess. That's to help you with feel. Maybe when you have goggles on. These are both triples. So one, two, three, as are these. That's to move your sticks position up and down. That's that's interesting. So this right one is spring loaded. And this one is just a two position switch. It's got a headphone jack right here. This jack is not labeled. Let's see what does it say. Well, let me open up the full page. Doesn't even mention it in the, in the instructions. Huh. That's weird. Dial, page, exit, and on the bottom it looks like, yeah, 
some type of cover. Yeah. And you have some type of USB style. It's not not the micro. Looks like a SD card slot. Smart port. Yeah. So they're calling this a USB port, which is not like a Samsung phone charger port, but a different style, like for a Canon camera card reader, I mean a TF uh, SD card slot, and then a smart port, whatever whatever that's for. Nice. And this gray is rubberized too. So it's got a grippy feel. I don't know, it feels great. And let's see what kind of batteries this thing takes. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Module bay? I have no modules for the bay. And right now, this takes... Feels pretty heavy now. A little bit less balanced too. Those batteries. Alright, so how do I turn this thing on? What's that? There we go. So the LCD screen's a little smaller on this one, and it doesn't have that awesome blue backlight. It's kind of disappointing a little bit, but not too bad. Definitely uh, worth saving over $100 on. So first impressions, I like the weight, I like the feel, I like the rubberized grips on the back. Sticks have nice tension on them. Unlike the FSI 6, kind of loosey goosey. Gonna have to figure out how to take the spring out of this because I don't want to have to be pushing down on it to take the throttle down. Um, menu is not so intuitive. Kind of fumble around trying to figure out how to get to what screen I want. I like all the wheels and buttons and stuff. <clears throat> I like the fact it came with a strap. I'm gonna have to. Oh, looks like I have to take it apart to install this thing. If I care. I guess it's just for balancing, or I could just clip this thing in right here. For the time being, that's probably what I'll do. pick up the X4 XR4 SB if you want to be able to change the antennas easily that's it I'm gonna learn a little bit more about this so I can install this on my wizard X220 and uh, we'll have many videos to come and hopefully learn some things and hopefully I can pass on some knowledge to some people so Thanks for your time. If you like this video, please thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I'm going to leave a couple videos right here and here. And uh, if you click right here, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Talk to you next time.